Hey there, girlfriend. Have you ever asked yourself, how much water do I need to drink to have glowing skin? Well, we're going to get to the bottom of that in today's video. We'll see you inside. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Inga Fay, and I'm a confidence coach and beauty enthusiast. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how much water should you drink to prevent premature aging? I'm sure this is a question that many of you may have. Next, we're going to talk about how much water should you drink to prevent dried out skin? Nobody likes that, right? And then last, but definitely not least, is how much water do you need to drink to prevent acne? common woes that some of us have, but we're gonna break down that water myth to you today. Let's do this, shall we? So let's talk about how much water do we need to drink when it comes preventing premature aging. Well, I wanted to tell you first and foremost that water is very important to your skin health. Our skin is the largest organ of our body. So we really wanna make sure that we are cognizant of what we are putting in our bodies internally, as well as what we're putting outside on our skin externally. Both are needed. We need internal hydration as well as external hydration. So when it comes to premature aging, we wanna make sure that we're drinking water based on our body weight. Body weight is a very important factor when it comes to water consumption the standard or rule of thumb for water consumption for someone that does not exercise is really about half their weight in ounces. So if you are a 120 pound woman, you would want to drink at least 60 ounces of water a day if you are not someone that participates in any kind of physical activity at a bare minimum. Now I can say this works best when you have it in conjunction with a skincare regimen. And the skincare regimen is going to be the basic five steps of skincare, which would be cleansing, exfoliating, moisturizing, toning, and protecting your skin. So when you have that as well as the proper hydration and nutrition, you will then be able to get that glowing skin but it is not an either or, it is really a combination of the three. That hydration, the nutrition, as well as the skincare regimen, that's going to help you meet that desired result. So before we move on to how much water is needed for dry skin, I wanted to ask you, how much water are you currently drinking now? Are you tracking that? Comment below and let us know. I'm really curious to know if, if that's something that you track on a regular basis. So now let's talk about how much water is needed to prevent dry skin. Dry skin is not fun. Dry skin is flaky and cracky and it's tight. And when it comes to that, I have had many clients tell me that they really want to find out what is needed when it comes to dry skin. And I've noticed that dry skin has a lot to do with the climate that you're living in. Right now, the time that I'm recording this, it is December. So we are almost in winter, late fall time frame. And during this time frame, it is typically cooler in the northern part of the country where people are really using their heaters. It could be a fireplace or gas heat or just electric heat they have in their homes. Well, homes that are being heated are homes that are moisture deprived. And as a result of that, we have to use more hydration internally as well as externally than what we would normally do during the summer. So I want you to be cognizant of the climate that you're in because dry skin has a lot to do with that climate. And you really wanted to make sure that you not only hydrate yourself internally, but also hydrate yourself externally with the proper hydration products, making sure that maybe you're using an extra moisturizer that has extra hydration that will really allow you to moisturize your skin. Because when you're in the winter, girlfriend, the heat is not your friend. As far as keeping you warm is your friend, but when it comes to your skin, it's really robbing your skin of its natural moisture. So you wanna make sure that you are drinking more water than normal. I would probably say for someone that's not exercising, you probably wanna do it another two to three cups of water a day for you to actually hydrate yourself more because of the deprived moisture environment that you're in as a result of it being cold and we're trying to keep our, our rooms and our homes and our offices um, warm so we can be in a comfortable state 
but as a result of that it is definitely taking the moisture out of our skin now that two to three extra cups that is really just a recommendation i'm not going to say that's going to work with everybody because similar to what i had said earlier about the weight it has a lot more to do with your weight so the more you weigh you may need more than that i will definitely say that so i'm going to say as far as increasing your hydration intake will depend on your weight as well as the climate that you're in okay so make sure that you are cognizant of that when it comes time for you to in in your water intake and your body's going to tell you and if you wait till you're thirsty i can tell you you've waited too late so you want to make sure that you do it before you're thirsty so before we move on to how much water is needed to prevent acne i want to remind you to subscribe to the youtube channel we upload a video every tuesday for your viewing pleasure and we don't want you to miss a beat so be sure to subscribe by clicking the link below so now let's talk about how much water is needed to prevent acne now i can tell you this is definitely a topic that is near and dear to my heart because I am an oily skin person. And typically oily skin is the one that is enduring these acne breakouts. And oftentimes I have noticed that sometimes these acne breakouts are coming from as a result of me exercising or doing some kind of physical activity where I've sweated or something like that. And I did not properly cleanse my face. So I wanted to make it very clear that when you are exercising, whether it be oily skin or normal skin, you're going to wanna make sure that you're properly cleansing, taking care of your skin. You really have that skincare regimen intact. You're cleansing, exfoliating, toning, moisturizing, and protecting your skin with products that are conducive for your skin type to really make sure that you are preventing acne. In addition to also hydration, and hydration based on your activity level is something that I really wanted to talk about in this section. Because the more you exercise, because you're exerting water from sweat, you're going to have to replace that moisture back with water. So be sure that you are replenishing yourself when you are doing extraneous type of activities to make sure that you are replacing that water that you just lost as a result of sweating. I think sometimes we kind of forget that you know, we get in our groove, we're really getting that uh, workout in and we sometimes forget. But I, I want to remind you, hydration is very important when it comes to extraneous exercise. So these three factors, your body weight, your climate, as well as your activity level, all have a great effect on how much water you consume. So depending on those particular personal factors for you to determine how much water you need, I gave you the the rule of thumb of at least half your body weight, but that is really for someone that's not exercising and is probably not in a cold environment. So you definitely have that as a baseline, as the bare minimum, and know that you're going to have to do above and beyond that based on your climate as well as your activity level. But if you are interested in learning on what type of skincare regimens that are really great for having that glowing skin, we do have a free skincare analysis that you can do to really find out what kind of condition your skin is in and what kind of products you would need to actually bring your skin to the best skin that it can be. If you're interested in that, be sure to click the link below and find out more about our Skin Analyzer app. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.